Have you ever been looking the place where you can learn and understand the beauty of chemistry? Possibly that the questions that you've been having in your mind for a long time. You may have also some other questions that who can teach me and understand the concept of 40? Who can teach me the concepts of chemistry? Have you, ever, have you ever been looking the place where you can learn and understand the beauty of chemistry? That might be one of your questions. Or have you ever been looking the place where you can learn and understand the beauty of physics and basic mathematics for ordinary secondary education? That might be one of the questions that you have in your mind and some other questions that have been going on in your mind. I would like to tell you that today I have a good news. You have met with the right answer of a bunch of those questions that you are asking yourself about the beauty of chemistry, physics and basic mathematics. How are you everybody who is watching this program? My name is Olin Jolai Moko Tayai Losingo. Those are my four names. Uh, but simply can call me Ole Jolai. I thank God by his own grace, he called me to be a science teacher in the national and international level. So I would like to take this opportunity to welcome all the national and international level and all the national and international viewers, all the national and international students, all the national and international parents to join me in this moment when we are going to break down different concepts of chemistry in this session, which it is session three and has been titled as I'm going to teach you the techniques, techniques of what the techniques of completing incomplete chemical equation. So I'll be teaching you the beauty of chemical equation, which is the heart of chemistry. It's a heart of farmers. It's a, this concept that you are going to apply in every aspect that you'll be encountering chemistry in your life. I thank God by his own grace, I'm a national and international teacher, as I say. And I would like to take this opportunity to welcome all the national and international viewers into one of our online schools that called Tanzania Online Ordinary Secondary School in Square Bracket on July. Simultaneously, I'd like to welcome you into one of our official YouTube channel, this is the our official YouTube channel that called Tanzania Online or Level Secondary School in Square Bracket on July. What vision do we have in Toosso? Because the abbreviations of Tanzania Online Ordinary Secondary School in Square Bracket in July is Toosso. To so this is the vision that we have. We have an assignment of teaching and training ordinary secondary students on how to extract knowledge, understanding, and wisdom from the classroom instruction and combine with knowledge, understanding, and wisdom that we are teaching them to extract it from the Word of God written in the Holy Bible in order to solve small-scale real-life problems. That is our vision. I know it may be a frustrating phrase or sentence to you, and may be confusing. How can you make it knowledge and understand from the classrooms and then the objective is solving real-life problems? How can you make a classroom education into, uh, uh, into real applications in real life? So I want to tell you that even myself, I was confused with this vision, but I thank God by his own grace, he simplified these visions and make it real in my mind. And believe me, it might take a number of years for you to achieve. It may take several years for me to, uh, to see the fruits of what I'm doing right now, but that is my belief. The main objective of the also is not to teach you to pass your next exam, the main objective of Toposo is to teach you on how you have to think outside of the class and take the classroom instructions in order to solve real life problems in different aspects of human life. So as the name of the school emphasizes that it's called Tanzania, so I'll be using the syllabus and curriculum of United Republic of Tanzania. So my dear students, I would like to invite even international students, remember, the concepts I'm going to teach you in chemistry, in physics, in basic mathematics for ordinary secondary education level are cross-cutting concepts. So that these are not concepts that we are learning at Tanzania. Every student in the world learn these concepts. So don't be disappointed if you're international students. Stay tuned and expect the good news that coming on right now. In case that you have never, it's your first time to visit or to meet us. You're only welcome. We are receiving new students every day. 
Again, according to the name, I want just to say this one. According to the names of the school, it's called uh, Tanzania Online. So online means right now we are contributing or we are distributing the contents that we are creating by using the internet. So that the meanings of Tanzania Online Ordinary Secondary School in square bracket online journal. So we have a vision of recording more than 600 videos of teaching basic mathematics, physics, and chemistry to ordinary secondary students. Maybe you are your parents. So it's a moment to just to invite your kids or to invite your neighbors, uh, just uh, the, the, uh, the ordinary secondary students who are uh, from neighbor houses or neighbor places for them to take advantage of this program. So I would like to, in case that it's your first time, you're only welcome. If you, it's not your first time, then I would like to ask you for all registered the students who have already subscribed in our official YouTube channel, you can skip this part. If it's your first time, just follow me in a minute on the process, process, a few steps that you have to follow for you to do permanent registration. So these are only to take uh, you into regis registration, registration, registration to registration to to also registration to also. What are the few steps that you have to follow for you to register yourself into also? The first step we ask you to create or open or open a new email. But the first step, if you, you have one email address then you can skip this state but in case you don't have you just go into google uh, uh, applications and ask how you can create a new email again we ask you that to sign in or to download the youtube software or youtube application then we ask you to sign in youtube so it means uh click the uh the icons of the, uh, the youtube applications and then Check at the top of the of your right hand side, you will see a button setting written sign in, uh, so sign in YouTube by your email. So you can only sign in if you have email. That's why in the first state we ask you or it or we emphasize you to create your email. The second state we ask you that right now, when you sign in, you can search your tip to also to also observations of Tanzania online secondary school in square bracket in July. So where are you going to search it? Search it in YouTube, right? Don't search from any other applications right now. We are using YouTube as international online uh, online American video sharing platform. So you see our poster, we call it Tanzania National Flag. So these icons and then you see the names of our channel, which is written Tanzania online to all level second school, square bracket in July, you see the number of videos in our channel, and you see the number of subscribers. So subscribers, these are registered the students. Then the first step, so you see around buttons with this national flag. So it ask you what you click on, click the round button. So click the round button round buttons to get in. If you click the round buttons to get in, you will see the horizontal toolbar, which is written homes, and then you will see also another one written videos, and see another icons or buttons written playlist, and then you will see community channels and about. Skip this part right now, I'll come back later, so for you to take advantage of this content. The first step, we ask you that to click the buttons which is being written subscribe so click these buttons once once you click it then before you click it it is written subscribe once you click it it's written subscribe and then you have 40 icons of 40 of the bell click this icon of bell once you'll be given three options choose the options of 40 of all Wonderful. So again, in case you want to take advantage of our contents, we ask you again that to keep on clicking. So you can click what you uh, just go into the top horizontal bar, which returns what you has the buttons written homes, videos, and playlist. So we ask you to click what you, the buttons written what you, playlist. And then so you, and these buttons we ask you to search uh, the playlist returns chemical equation. 
So chemical equation. There we find the collections of all the videos of about 20 that will teach you about chemical equation for ordinary secondary uh, level. Thank you very much for subscribing into our official channel. Then we ask you to visit it regularly the, our official YouTube channel because we are adding at least one video in a day. So make sure to visit it because this is session three. We have uploaded session four. We'll be just having session five of chemical questions and other next session. But in case you feel that you want to share this video link, click the icon switch and share in order to share the, uh, the video link of this video to other students by using social media or even using our email. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome in the departments of chemistry. The subject of today is called chemistry. Then these contents we're creating specifically for pre-form survey students, for the form theory students, or QT students, or receiver students who are in that uh, who are in form theory, or grade 10 students, and OT and teachers. This is just in some groups of students or viewers who can benefit in directly with these contents, right? So let me do the quick review. Uh, this is session three. It's, it's, it's titled as techniques of completing incomplete chemical equation. So we we are we are in what we would like to do quick review, quick review of what of what we taught you in session two. Remember that I made some correction between uh, the numbering of session three and session four, right? So in session two, basically we taught you about uh, types of what types of chemical reaction, okay? And as I told you that in fundamental chemistry, chemical reactions, in fundamental chemistry, we are, we are, we are teaching our students uh, basically to know about five types of chemical reaction. So types of chemical reaction. So the first one, that's the one to mention, is called combination reaction because uh, there's a relationship between session two and session three, combination of the chemical reaction. Okay, and then the second one is called your the displacement, say displacement, displacement chemical reaction. Okay, chemical reaction, so this is in short. And then the third one is called the uh, double displacement, double displacement, double displacement chemical reaction. And then the first one is called decomposition, decomposition, decomposition chemical reaction. And then the fifth type is called the neutralization, neutralization chemical reaction. Okay, so those are the five types of chemical reactions that we taught you and we gave you some examples. But today, we'll teach you in, in, in details about these five chemical reactions because these are the five techniques that you would like to build in the mindset of our students in order for them to understand uh, how they have to complete incomplete chemical equation. So that is, in case you missed this session, you can access it in our official YouTube channel that called Tanzania Online or Level Seki School in Square Bracket in Olajuwa. So you can access and you can get more than what we have summarized in, in this quick review. Right now, I believe that you are ready in, to learn about the contents of session three. Are you ready? Are you ready? Take your pen, take your pencil, take your ruler, and take your exercise book, and then take your fresh mind to go inside the today's session. So ladies and gentlemen, the first concept that I would like to teach you uh, in order for you to understand, first of all, I would like to teach you the concept you call the complete, or just, okay, so let me start with introduction. Introduction, okay, introduction. So let me start with introductions of the concept. Say introduction, that's why we call the tangles. So we say that in, in, in fundamental, so we say that in, in chemistry, in chemistry, in chemistry, in chemistry, the chemical, 
equation, a chemical equation may be written as completely completely chemical equation complete chemical equation or incomplete incomplete chemical equation or incomplete chemical equation so the key words here in this first sentence of my introduction is complete and incomplete chemical equation that's the good news for all my form theory students and pre-form theory students and QT students. In chemistry, in fundamental chemistry, we can write a chemical equation either as complete chemical equation or in complete chemical equation. That's the point I want to make. So what the difference between this complete and the incomplete chemical equation? So right now, I can have a concept that we call the I call it theory. So this was 3.0, so 3.1. 3.1, I'll let you teach you about what it completely, completely chemical equation. Completely chemical equation. So in short, just yes, write EQM. That is in short. Completely chemical equation. So I would like to have the first equation, right? And the first equation is. What is the meaning? What is the meaning? What the meaning of what? Of completely, completely chemical equation. Completely chemical equation. So, chemical equation. So you can pause the video and think for a moment. What does this mean? Right? And think for a moment in what does that question mean? How can you answer? Imagine that you're in an exam, or imagine that you are in daily life, or imagine that you are a child, or your son or your daughter is asking you, Father, you have studied chemistry. What the means of completely chemical equation? Well, there are different definitions, but I just found one which is very interesting and simple for you to pay it for the rest of your life. So simply say that in completely chemical complete chemical equation so we say that is a chemical simply the chemical equation so this is the chemical equation containing reactants containing reactants conditions Conditions and what and products. So it can be either single reactants or more than one reactants and products. Okay? So that is simple definitions of what completely chemical equation. Completely chemical equation is a chemical equation which contains only reactants and conditions of chemical reaction. And conditions of chemical reaction. So you say that. Okay, so complete chemical equation is a chemical equation containing reactants, conditions, and products of 14 of a chemical reaction. Chemical reaction. Okay, so again, we have a general formula that we teach our students a general formula of a completely the form of a completely chemical reaction is so a chemical so a general formula for completely chemical equation so remember that I will use the word reaction and equation interchangeably so chemical equation is this so ladies and gentlemen you can pause the video and copy these six steps or seven steps for you to take advantage 
of our conscience. Thank you for registering into to also. You're only welcome. Stay tuned, stay online, and receive the contents that will teach you or how to think differently. So the general formula, say general formula. So the general formula of what? Of a complete chemical reaction is this one. That on the left hand side, we, we always will have always reactants. So you have always reactants, single reactant or more than one reactant. And then so we have an arrow which is equivalent to eco sign in mathematics. And then above this arrow or below it, we can put a condition or catalyst. Okay, condition or catalyst. Condition or catalyst. And then on the right hand side, you have what? A single product or more than one product. So that's the general formula. So any chemical equation which is written by following this general formula is defined or is categorized as what a complete chemical equation. So then we can have, I know that you as my beloved students, you can have the second question. What are the five examples? What are the five examples of what a, of complete, what are the five complete, uh, examples of complete chemical Question. So at least you, we have more than five, but let me mention at least five examples of complete chemical equation. So we can write a, a, a chemical equation by using web, or we can write a chemical equation by using molecular formula, or we can write a chemical equation by using ionic ions. So we have three ways of writing chemical equation, but ionic equations is actually deduced from molecular equation. So I'll be using uh, I'll be writing the examples by using the word equation, word chemical equation, or by using the method, uh, by, uh, it means by using the technique, uh, it means by using uh, the method, because uh, we, we said that there are three types of chemical equation. It's word chemical equation, we have molecular chemical equation, and we have also the ionic chemical equations, which I will teach you in the next session. So session four, I will teach you about your word chemical equation. Session five, I will teach about Toti molecular chemical equations. And then session six, I will teach you about Toti balancing the chemical equation. And session seven, possibly, I will teach about ionic chemical equation. And session eight and nine, possibly, and even ten, we can be solving different questions. So that the vision we have. Pray for that in order that visions to be reality. What are the five examples of complete chemical equations? Complete chemical equations. So, the following are the example. The first example, we can have uh, just a reaction of what magnesium reacts with oxygen. React with oxygen. And then you have an arrow. Then the products is of magnesium. So this is metal, this is non metal. When metal and non metal react, they form a compound. So, a compound is called magnesium. Oxide, oxide, not magnesium oxygen, it is called magnesium oxide. So this chemical equation, it has at least, so remember that, a complete chemical equation should have at least two parts, reactant and product part. The part of conditions or catalyst, not every chemical reactions need a condition for it to take place. And not every chemical reactions need catalyst to take place. For those chemical equations, or chemical reactions that need conditions or catalyst we show, we indicate. But for those that they don't take it uh, into, it means that they don't take, they don't need a condition or a catalyst for reactants to react it to form a product, then we just uh, include your team, reactants and your product. That's the first example. The second example, we can have uh, uh, this reaction. So this is reactants, we call the calcium carbonate. Okay, so when calcium carbonate decomposes, it forms what? Calcium oxide plus what is carbon dioxide. I don't want to involve the physical state of this, of reactants and the products. I will, I will include it in session five, but at this moment, just learn this. And this symbol stands for, for heat, 
it's a condition. Then the third example, uh, we can have also potassium. So the third example of complete chemical uh, equation is what potassium, when potassium reacts with what? When potassium reacts with hydrochloric, hydrochloric acid. So when potassium reacts with hydrochloric acid, that's the displacement chemical reaction. So it means that potassium will displace hydrogen and form what? And form potassium, potassium chloride. This is salty plus salty plus hydrogen gas. So plus hydrogen plus hydrogen gas. Then you have the first example. The first example can have double decomposition. So double decomposition, for example, if you have sodium chloride plus what? Sodium chloride and then plus what? Plus uh, magnesium oxide. So this will form what? So double decomposition. So I'm just giving examples. I'll teach you the formulas later on, so on how. I'm just, just giving examples of complete chemical reaction. So sodium displaces oxygen. This is called double, 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 double displacement or yes, double displacement in most cases. We call double displacement chemical reaction. So sodium displaces magnesium and reacts with oxygen and form what? Sodium oxide. Plus what? I'll teach you the rule, don't worry. Plus magnesium chloride. So magnesium chloride. So chlorine will be two atoms. So you can balance, or you can live. You can balance. I will teach you how to balance the chemical question. At this moment, just take it as easy. But I want to show you the reactants on left hand side and products on right hand side. So again, can you take out the quiz? So example five, then I want you now to do quiz one. Quiz what? Quiz three, quiz one. So write that example five. Write any complete chemical equation. It means that any chemical equation that con consists of the reactants and the products. This is reactants, these are pro this is product. This is reactant, these are two products and condition. Then this is reactants, these are the two products. These are reactants, these are the two or three products. So you can have a single reactant and two products, so it depends. Or you can have two reactants and single product, so it depends. Okay, so thank you for trying. Pause the video and then try to write a few examples. You can write any example or, or, uh, away from the one that I'm going to write for you, but this one uh, means that it, uh, it's a reaction between what? Sodium chloride, which you call it in chemistry table salt, plus what? Plus, so sodium chloride plus calcium, calcium hydroxide. So this is neutralization reaction. So if acid and base react it, it forms a salty, and this salt is called sodium. So our uh, salt is called sodium chloride. No, not sodium chloride. Okay. Sodium. Excuse me. Excuse me. I made a mistake here. Hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid. Reacts with what? With calcium hydroxide, this is acid, this is base, then this form what? It will form calcium chloride, calcium chloride, calcium chloride plus what? Plus water. So hydrochloric acid and calcium hydroxide are reactants, two reactants, and calcium chloride and water are two products. So those are the five examples of complete chemical equation. If you have any question about complete chemical equation, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section below. I believe you have understood very well the concepts of complete chemical equation. Ladies and gentlemen, let me teach you the, the concept of this session, of session three.
10, which is 3.2, because we have 3.0, 3.1, then we are going to 3.2. So let me teach you about 20, incomplete. So if you have complete, it means it may have also incomplete. Incomplete chemical, incomplete chemical equation. Incomplete chemical equation. So you have a question here. Okay? And the question is this is question 23. So what is what is incomplete? What is incomplete chemical equation? What is incomplete chemical equation? What is it? You can pause the video and ask yourself. And then write your definition. Pause the video. Answer this question on the graph paper. And then continue to watch the video to see the answer and compare with your trial. We want to teach our students the, the technique we call it in learning, active learning. But the students will be centered in the process of learning. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, in complete chemical equation, simply say that is a chemical equation. So this is a category of chemical equation, chemical equation, which contains, which contains what, which contains uh, only reactants, reactant or reactants, and the Condition, so in condition or what or catalyst of the chemical chemical reaction reaction. So this consists of only two two parts. It may consist reactants itself, or it may consist of reactants with certain with catalyst. Right? For this reason, we mean that in complete chemical equation, it does not does not contain does not contain a product. Does not contain product. Does not contain a product. Okay, does not contain product, but it only Contains what? It only contains what? It only contains what? Reactants. It only contains reactants. Okay. <clears throat> so that is strong. Simple definition of incomplete chemical equation, which is a half of section three of chemical equation. Okay, so it, it only contains it does not contain any products. So uh, the chemical equation it won't contains the products, but it only contains what it only contains reactant. So when I put uh, Parenthesis like this means either one reactance or more than one reactance. So, ladies and gentlemen, I know now in your mind you have question four. What are five examples? Examples of what? Of incomplete what? Incomplete chemical equation. So, you can. We have we have so many examples of what of incomplete chemical equation in chemistry. But let me just use we can it means we can make a complete chemical equation into incomplete chemical equation when the composer of the question uh, will give you the chemical equation which contains only reactants or reactants and what and conditions or catalysts. And then it won't, give, it won't tell you that when that reactions take place, the product is what? So we have a responsibility to identify 
and remember the rules and the techniques that we teach you in chemistry in order to know the products when those reactants react. So ladies and gentlemen, here are the five examples of forty, five examples of incomplete chemical equation. Okay, so we can write also an incomplete chemical equation in where? In form of, it means uh, by using weights, weights of the reactants and the products, or by using molecular formula, or by using ion, ionic states of voting, of voting of reactants and the product. So we can have magnesium plus what? So magnesium, when magne uh, magnesium plus oxygen, and then we give you an arrow, and then we don't give you the products. So this is what we call in complete or in chemical reaction. The second example, we have also calcium carbonate. Okay, calcium carbonate, and then we give you the conditions, or even if we don't give you the condition, you have to know in your mind that this is the composition chemical reaction, and I don't give you the product. That's incomplete. Number three, so let me give you some other examples away from the one that you have taught you there. So you can have also I can have also sodium react with certain calcium calcium oxide calcium oxide. So this one will form what will form sodium sodium what sodium oxide okay plus calcium. Plus calcium. Sodium plus calcium oxide, it forms what? Sodium oxide plus what? Plus calcium. So this is displacement reaction. Then the first example can also have what? Uh, the double decomposition reaction. That calcium, calcium chloride can react with what? So calcium chloride. It can react with potassium, potassium nitrate, and then we give you it. Oh, excuse me, this is complete chemical reaction. So it should not give you the reactor, the, the product. So sodium plus calcium oxide can be given, will be given an R. Then the fifth example, okay, can also have what in, uh, the reaction between what? Sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid in one equation plus what? Plus sulfuric acid plus potassium potassium hydroxide plus potassium hydroxide. Then this will form what? Okay. So these are five examples. These are facts. These are some of the five examples of what of incomplete chemical reaction. So the heart of this session will be dealing on how or be teaching the techniques you have to use to balance, no, just to complete these incomplete chemical reactions. Do you have any questions about incomplete chemical reactions up to this point? If you didn't understand any part, please don't hesitate to ask questions in the comment section because we read your comment and answer your question. And not only me, but even also some other students worldwide can just do, okay? So, okay, so can, can read. Again, another thing that uh, I didn't remember before I mentioned the examples, the general, the general formula, the general formula, of what? Of incomplete chemical, general form of incomplete chemical equation is given as on the left hand side we have either one or more than one reactant. So then we have an arrow. So here we may have a condition. Okay, we may have a condition. We may have what? Catalyst. But 
product or products, but product is not given or products are not actually given. So this is the general formula you have to bear in your mind. So my dear students, keep this general formula of complete chemical equation and keep this in complete formula of chemical equation. All right. So right now, you have understood well about the concept of what about the concepts of chemical, about the concepts of completely and incompletely chemical and incompletely chemical reaction. Okay? So the next thing or the next concept that I have to teach you right now, I would like to teach you the concept that we call it completing incompletely chemical equation. Completing incomplete chemical equation. And the concept that you like to teach you. So this is the real point. Real first concept. So if you have incomplete chemical equation, then we as students we have a responsibility to complete them. So that's what we have a concept we call it complete completing completing chemical. Completing chemical equation. Completing chemical equation. Completing incomplete chemical equation. Incomplete. Completing incomplete chemical equation. So from there we have another question because the question not question five, right? So what are, what is the meaning, first of all? What is the meaning? What is the meaning of what? Of completing the chemical, the incomplete, incompleting chemical Equation. What does it mean? Simply say that uh, this is a process. It is. It is a process of what? Of completing. Of completing. This is a process of completing one. Of completing. The given chemical chemical the given in a uh, the given is a process of completing the given in complete in complete chemical so I say that in it's a process of completing, this is the process of what? Of completing, it's a process of completing the given in complete chemical equation by identifying, by identifying what? Identifying and writing The product or products of the chemical equation. So it means that the concepts of completing complete chemical equation will be just having a simple business of identifying and the, so identifying and the, writing the products of 40 of the chemical equation. So it's a process, it's a process, and there are techniques that you have to follow when you are performing that process. According to my experience when I was a Form 3, a pre-Form 3 and Form 3 student, this is the one of the most challenging concepts to me. And according to my research, 
pertainment to current, it means that to present and future ordinary secondary students, they, most of them, they found this concept is the most challenging concept. So let us just write in a book. It is one of the most challenging. So it's just a challenging. The testing challenging. The testing your level of understanding of chemical reaction. So it's a one of the most challenging part in chemistry. Not only in ordinary level, even in advanced level. So not in, in chemistry. So for you to master, you should have diff you should know different types of chemical reaction, different conditions. What are the products? Because sometimes if you change the conditions, the products of the chemical reaction might change. It's the most of the challenge. So remember the keys, it's the most of the challenge. So even yourself who is watching this video right now, I know one of your challenging part in chemical equation is completing the chemical equation, right? But I say that, so in this session and other session, In this session, we teach you some techniques of what? Of completing, of completing different chemical equations. Completing different different chemical equation. Different chemical equations. Okay, that's what we are doing or we'll be doing in this session. So are you ready now to learn those techniques? So ladies and gentlemen, let me teach you now a very interesting part of this session, which is 3.4 techniques. Techniques of what? So techniques of completing. Techniques of completing an incomplete Incomplete, incomplete chemical equation. So in exam, in daily life, in chemistry lab, we encounter with this concept of completing incomplete chemical equation. Because even if you are doing an experiment, for example, if you want to know what are the products when calcium carbonate decomposes, so you should know, you should predict it, means you should have a theoretical concept, and then you do an experiment to prove. Because we taught you in complete chemical reactions when calcium carbonate decompose, decomposes, it form, it's form what in calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. So when you go into the chemistry lab, you'll be just proving. We decompose calcium carbonate and then you have to test it, the presence of carbon dioxide and the calcium oxide. So you should know the theory. So we are teaching the theory. And then you may use advantage of your school laboratory to check if these chemical reactions are really taking place or we are lying. But chemistry is, is a science subject, it's a subject of fact. So ladies and gentlemen, I'll like just to make it a, a uh, uh, the sentence here that there are some useful there are some useful techniques there are some useful techniques there are some useful technique in order 
in completing in completing what? Completing the incomplete chemical the incomplete chemical equation. Incomplete chemical equation. So there are some useful techniques. There are some useful techniques in completing the incomplete chemical equation. Okay? So that the point that we have to remember. So basically, you have to follow these two techniques, right? The first technique You say that identify the type of given given incomplete chemical equation or reaction at the first technique. The second technique, the second technique. Okay. Use the general formula. Use specific general formula. Use specific general formula of what? Of type of reaction. Protein. So use specific general formula of type of reaction to identify the products of incomplete chemical reaction. So these are the two techniques which you are going to implement them right now. So if you remember what I told you in session two, I talked about types of chemical reaction. The concepts of types of chemical reaction, it's a fundamental technique and very and fundamental concept that will help you to balance it, no, just to complete a different chemical equation. So let me just go inside. So 3.41. What if uh, what if the given incomplete chemical reaction is combination reaction, right? So we say that completing or techniques of what? Technique, techniques of what? Of completing, techniques of completing the combination chemical equation chemical equation so what the technique just the technique you have to remember the general formula the general formula Of or the general the general equation not formula of a combination chemical reaction or equation is is given as this. That suppose you have reactants A plus reactant B. So this one, so this reactants may be metal and this one not metal, or this one can be non-metal and this can be a metal. Or both of these compounds can be non-metals. Right? 
So if A and B reacting, which is the combination reaction to be the product is uh, the product usual will be a single compound, which is A plus, uh, which is A B. Listen carefully. A stands for N metal or N and metal. B stands for N metal or N and metal. A stands for a metal or non metal. B stands for T for non metal. B cannot be a metal. So we'll teach you that concept. So the concept whenever you see a combination chemical reaction, so you have to understand that the two reactants, when the two reactants combine together, then it forms a single compound. So it means that simply you say that in uh, two reactants reacting together together to form what? To form a single compound. So that the definition of what is the definition of combination chemical reaction. So ladies and gentlemen, there, uh, let me present to you example three. So example three, complete the following reaction. The question will never tell you the type of chemical equation. You are the one who is responsible to identify which type of the chemical equations, which type of the chemical reactions they've been given. Complete the following chemical equation. So that's why we are teaching you in your advance. So that the question. So the first one, we say that, let, let us write in just in a simple language, we have uh, calcium in solid state plus oxygen. Cal is calcium metal or non-metal? It's a metal. Is oxygen metal or non-metal? It's non-metal. So now, this is 10 for A. Remember that this is representing A. And this, ah, okay. Okay, so let me write the question first. I wanted to answer while I should write questions first. And then we have again another example is zinc, zinc, which is transition element, plus what? Sulfur. What do you get? Then the same example. We have also uh, sodium plus chlorine. Sodium plus chlorine. Then this one, what will you get? Then you have Roman 4. <coughs> we have another combination chemical reaction. But right now we have what? We have magnesium plus sulfur. What is the problem? So I will do Roman 1, 2, and 4. This one will be your quiz. So this will be your second quiz. Quiz two. So quiz, it's a try. You have to do it when you are continuing to watch the video. So techniques of completing, techniques of completing the complete chemical, the chemical of okay, the complete chemical question. Okay, fine. Complete chemical question. Okay, so let us solve example three. So we have what? So the first step, as I told you, identify what? Identify type of what? Of chemical, yeah, of the chemical of the given 
of living chemical reaction or chemical equation. So if you observe uh, Roman 1 to Roman 4, these are examples of what of combination chemical reaction. So mean that in uh, uh, Roman 1 to Roman 4, uh, what are uh, combination chemical chemical equation. So we'll be using what? So the second step, you have to recall it, general equation. Okay? So you say that the general equation, the general equation of what? So follow this step when you're solving a question. The general equation of combination chemical uh, reaction Rxn is this A plus B forms one compound which is A. For that case, Roman 1, our A is calcium. So calcium combines oxygen, calcium which is metal in solid state combines oxygen molecule. So the product is a single compound which is called the calcium oxide. So you have already completed. Okay, I've already completed. We'll use this formula, right? Let me go for Roman two. Roman two, we have weight equation: zinc plus sulfur. So zinc is zinc metal or non-metal? Zinc it is metal. It's not one of the elements in the first twenty elements in periodic table. So zinc plus sulfur. This there, uh, this is A. This is B, for example. Then this one will form a compound we call it zinc sulfide. Zinc or zinc? Zinc sulfide. Zinc sulfide. And here is Roman 3. Roman 3 we have what? Sodium plus what? Chlorine. Sodium plus chlorine. So sodium plus chlorine, we say that this is solid state and this is in gaseous state. So sodium plus chlorine, which will form what? Sodium chloride. Sodium chloride. And then Slayton will teach you the concepts of what? So this is A, this is B, this is AB. So metal, non-metal. So if you if you check this chemical equation. It's not balanced because here we have two atoms of chlorine, here we have one atom of chlorine. I'll teach you the techniques of balancing. So to balance here we add two, and here also we add two. So you have two atoms of sodium on the reactant side and two atoms of sodium on the product side. We have two atoms of chlorine on the reactant side and two atoms of chlorine on the reactant on the on the product side. So I have answered your quiz. Okay, so then Roman 4. We'll be given out reaction between magnesium and sulfur. So magnesium is a metal when to react with salt, with sulfur. So in the general equation, A stands for metal, B stands for what? For metal. So when magnesium reacts with sulfur, it forms what? A new compound. And this new compound in chemistry, we call it what? The new compounds is equal to magnesium, magnesium sulfide. So magnesium sulfide. So magnesium is a metal. Okay, magnesium is a metal, and magnesium sulfide. And the word sulfide is not metal. And magnesium sulfide, it's a compound. So that is about your tea. These are the techniques that you have to use in case you want to complete the combination chemical equation. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me teach you about how you can 
how you can, uh, the techniques of completing. Techniques of 40 of completing. Completing displacement. Completing displacement chemical. Completing displacement of completing displacement of chemical equation. Okay. And again, yeah, I've been missing I've been missing general general question. So simply what we have to know are the technique, it's a general. So general chemical equation, general form of 40. General form, general form of a chemical, of a chemical equation. The general form of chemical equation, of the displacement, displacement, displacement in chemical reaction. He is given as what? As A plus B C. This is forming what? A C plus B. Okay? Very important in general formula. A in most cases stands in positions of metal. In some few cases, you can have non-metal. B stands for the metal, and C stands for the non-metal. B may also have an, may, may be a what it, may be a non-metal. It depends in which uh, in which type. But in the fundamental displacement chemical uh, reactions. Uh, B in most cases will be metal and C will be non-metal. So how do you form products? Look, the principle. How do you form products? So A, a metal A should be having a property of displacement of displacement B in the carbon. Remember that this is what this is uh, one. It may be just this is a, this is an element, and this is the compound. So A has to displace what B in order to form what a new compound, which is A C means that B will be displaced by A plus what, and B will stand itself. So simply say that uh, it's so you say that it contains what. So simply that we say that generally it is what so we say that in uh, uh, normally in this type of chemical reaction uh, an element react with what with a compound. To form what? Or to produce what? To form or produce what? Produce a new compound. This is new compound. A new compound. And what? And a new element. Because B was not an element. It was a part of the compound. A new element. Okay? So new compound, 
and no element. So that's what you see there. Okay, so A displaces B and form a new compound AC plus O plus B. So ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present to you example four. So example four, it will test your understanding. So complete the following, following chemical reaction, a chemical equation. Chemical questions. The first one, so I've prepared four. I will solve the way for two for you, and then I'll give one as your homework. So potassium reacts with sodium oxide. Then complete it, what will be the product. Then the second the reaction is when calcium react with what? <coughs> with magnesium hydroxide. With magnesium hydroxide. What will be the product? Then Roman three, we have what? When calcium react with Zinc chloride. So this is your quiz. So this will be quick theory. Try it. Or just you could, could you try. Try it right now. So try it. Once I teach you Roman 1 and 2, then you can try Roman 3. If you fail, you can check my solutions in Roman 4. And then try it on three. Then I'll do corrections by the means of quiz. So spend a few minutes, complete it yourself. Then on one four, we have a reaction between sodium and what? And the magnesium. And magnesium. So what would be the product? So we follow the same steps as I told you in the previous example. So solution. The first step. The question does not tell us which step of the chemical reactions we are given. First step, we ask you to identify what? Identify the type of the given chemical reaction or equation. So if you check all of these reactions, element reactions compound, element reactions compound, element reactions compound, element reacting with sodium, or this is magnesium or sodium plus magnesium oxide, excuse me, Good. So element reactions come out. So we say that uh, Roman one to Roman four are uh, displacement. These are displacement chemical reaction. Chemical reaction because this is a displacement chemical reaction. When you got the second step, second step, say that you call it, you call the general form of displacement. Chemical, chemical equations. 
Do you have any good questions? Form, we say that if an element reacting with the compounds consisting two elements or consisting some elements we name them BC, then these reactions will be displacement under a particular condition. But right now, A will displace B to form what? To form AC as the new compounds and new element B will be formed. So, in the case now, we use the same principle. We have potassium as an element reacting with sodium oxide. So if these two, if the compounds, if sodium oxide compounds react with so is potassium, then we form a new compound which is potassium oxide plus sodium plus sodium. I'm not writing the physical state yet right now. So from this chemical equation, you, you find against this imbalance. Later also we'll teach you about the imbalanced or unbalanced. We'll teach about unbalanced and balanced chemical equation. So how many number of atoms do we have on right hand side? Two. On this side, we have only one. So you have to add two. So you have two atoms of potassium, two atoms of potassium. One atom of sodium, one atom of sodium. One atom of oxygen, one atom of oxygen. You have already completed it. Okay, the given chemical question. Simple, if you understand. Then the second the, uh, question is what? When calcium reacts with sodium with magnesium hydroxide, this is what we call the compounds of forty compounds of hydroxide. So when calcium reacts with magnesium hydroxide, then by using the principle of electronic activity series, then magnet calcium is going. So remember that in this reaction, potassium has displaced the sodium in a compound called the sodium oxide. Similarly, here we have calcium plus magnesium hydroxide. Magnesium hydroxide is a compound and this is an atom. So calcium is going to displace OT, magnesium. Don't write this, just this is for you, right? So this arrow is for you to understand the principle. So if the calcium displaces magnesium, then calcium will combine with hydroxide to form a new compound. So the new compound will be called the magnesium. Will be called the magnesium. The new elements will be magnesium, and the new compounds will be called what? Calcium hydroxide. We call the calcium hydroxide. Okay. Uh -huh. Say so the example now. Try. Right. Pause the video and then try it. Pause the video and then try. Thank you for trying. Let us do correction. So say the example, we have calcium as element reacting with what? With dinky chloride as compound. So if this chemical reaction takes place, you know that calcium is going to displace what? Zinky to form what? To form calcium Chloride plus what? Plus zinc. That's the correction. So check your solution. Roman 4. We have a reaction between sodium and magnesium oxide. So the reactants are sodium as an element I'm using simple examples and what in magnesium oxide. And magnesium oxide. So if this, if that element react with your team, is that compound, then we form a new compound, which we call the sodium, sodium oxide, plus what? A new element, which is called what? Magnesium. Magnesium. Then we have finished to solve for example four. You know what is coming. Now it's a time for you to practice it. I'm using the technique that we call the LOTP. 
learn, try, and practice it. So it's time for the practice. Practice it. Or in simple language, you say that homework. So this is homework three. Practice it. It's homework three. It's homework three. So homework three. So practice it. Or we call it homework three. So the homework three is. <coughs> just have a simple question, right? So the question is. With aid of examples, with try this homework and submit your homework in the comment section at this moment. So, with aid of what? With aid of examples, briefly explain. Technique of completing incomplete displacement uh, decomposition incomplete decomposition what incompleting in composition reaction or equation. In complete in composition equation. And the question. Question. So follow the steps that I told you in techniques of completing then complete combination chemical equation. And the techniques I told you are of completing incomplete displacement chemical equation. Ladies and gentlemen, I have so many information to teach you or to pass to you. But my father who is never says that all enjoy it is enough today. So again, I will have another session, which I will call it session four where I will teach you, I will do the corrections of the homework or practice it, three, and then I will teach you about the other two techniques and we'll be doing so many examples, including the past paper form for nectar questions of completing the chemical equations. So don't miss it. So remember that in session five will be where the chemical equation. So just remember uh, and do these minor corrections because we made a mistake. We call it for the first time session three, and then we change the name from session three to session four because we jumped to the concepts of what of completing the chemical equation. But nothing will be missed. Everything is well arranged and systematically. Before I end these sessions, I have couples of announcements to you. The first announcement. Uh, I would like to invite you in case you feel from your hearts that you want to offer our Father who is never your free in Thanksgiving through to also, also through Tanzania online ordinary secondary school in Square Bracket in July. You are only welcome to do it and you may offer your free will in Thanksgiving offering through that telephone number 0759745331. Why should you offer? That's a very important question. It's expensive to prepare one video of teaching. So when I was asking the founder of the program, who is my father, who is Neven, and he said, yeah, I have an assignment to offer my freely sense giving to him of the gift of teachings and even my financial matters, and also inviting different Tanzanians and international students also for them to take part in paying for the running cost, so that more than 600 videos of basic mathematics, chemistry, and physics for ordinary secondary students will be in air. The last announcement, I would like to welcome you into Tanzania Online Ordinary Library. 
So in that library, today we have uh, just the four books of chemistry that will make you to learn in master chemistry by the syllabus of the Republic of Tanzania. We have a book called the chemistry from forms one and two students book. And also we have another book. So this is the book which is actually contains co different concepts of chemistry form one and chemistry form two. So you may need it. Uh, for the form three, we are using this as the one of the reference textbook called the chemistry form three and four student books. So you may order this book online. Uh, this we call them textbook. And each book it just is costing uh, it's costing uh, almost 17,000 Tanzania shillings. But again, we like uh, to teach you how you do practice on different questions. So you have a special book for the chemistry form two. This is form two past papers, nectar exams of chemistry from 2003 to 2019 questions and answers. You may also order this book from our library. Also, you have uh, this is not a, uh, this is the last book, uh, just last sample book called Ordinary Level Chemistry Review Questions and Answers from 2003 and 2019. We recommend this questions and answer book or questions and so uh, just questions and answers book for every form three students. I recommend also chemistry from three and four chemistry book. Uh, we study uh, students' books for all our students, for them to learn beyond of what we've been teaching you. So you may order these books, just to send an SMS of your order through this telephone number, then we'll make contact to you in order to make sure that uh, you get these resources for you to go far as long as God will take you. So I would like to take this opportunity, first of all, to give my father, who is Neven, much thanks. And I would like also to give much thanks to you who have been watching this program from the beginnings to the end. I know that you will, you will like me to continue teaching you, but now today, because we have to check about the time and your capacity of receiving this information. And thirdly, I would like to thank God for all the people who are going to make sure or who are going to support this program, who are going to just uh, 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 marketing these programs, who are going to support in any either ways these programs in order to impact the lives of present and future generation in Tanzania and the international or in other international countries. May God bless you and keep you, keep enjoying the beauty of chemistry. I invite you in session four, when I'll teach you about other three techniques of completing the chemical equation and doing some more questions, including the past paper questions of the nectar from four. And the too much more that we'll be discussing in that session. Invite your friends to join, to join you in the next session, that will be session four, where that we are going to uh, we are going to advance our knowledge on the process or on the techniques of completing the chemical question. So may God bless you and keep you until we meet in the next session. This is Olenjolai from the beautiful country called Tandana. <laughs>